and we are live welcome 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 everybody to tls tuesday it's melanie nelson here and uh, we're coming to you every week tuesday at 11 a.m eastern to just share with you principles of the TLS lifestyle, mindset, tips, and fun stuff. Obviously, we have a lot going on on our channels between recipes and all kinds of fun stuff. So definitely stay on the pulse of what we got going on. I want to talk to you today about, you know, one of the things that happens is life <laughs> right? Situations change, seasons of life change. Um, and sometimes we're just in a situation where uh, it's very difficult to adhere to our TLS lifestyle. And what can be really easy to do is just throw in the towel and say, oh, well, and just go crazy, right? Just do the pizza and the ice cream and the indulgence. This idea of 100% on or nothing at all is really not productive, right? Because how many times have you felt super guilty about that later or beat yourself up going, man, I wish, you know, I hadn't done that. How far would I be? How many pounds would I have lost? Would I, you know, right? Just this constant sort of negative talk around that. And so if we know it's not productive, let's not keep doing it. <laughs> if it's predictable, it's preventable, as I often say. So TLS is not a pass or fail situation. It's not a pass or fail system or solution. It's a lifestyle. And guess what, you guys, you can't fail at a lifestyle. And often when we think we've had a cheat or we've had a cheat day or we've had a cheat week or we've had a cheat month, we think we've failed and we feel bad and we feel guilty and we spend a lot of time uh, and energy and thought process beating ourselves up about it. So let's throw that out the window. Now, that's easy to say, right? <laughs> so how do we do that? Well, first thing is all about awareness. And when you're aware that you're doing it, oh man, I'm beating myself up because I, you know, of what I ate last night, just be aware of it and go, okay, it's not pass or fail. Get back on track. This is not productive. Keep moving forward. Do better today. Right? So it's not like you're going to stop feeling that way ever, 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 because you know better. It's that you become aware of it sooner. So you spend less and less and less time in that unproductive space. All right. So we know we can't fail at a lifestyle and TLS is a lifestyle. So what are some situations? What are some, um, and feel free to comment and chat. What are some of those situations where, you know, maybe it's a social gathering, a family reunion or, or, a birthday party or an anniversary dinner or a road trip, right? Or, or, you know, when the kids are in soccer and suddenly all you're doing is chauffeuring them around 100% of the time, right? These types of things in life are where we can tend to get off track and fall into that trap that I just talked about. So what are our options then? What if our in a, like if we cannot control that season of life or if we can't control the circumstances because guess what we have to drive from Florida to Minnesota in you know three days in a car we know that's not an option we just have to prepare for that variables are going to change but what can we do so I want to introduce you to if you've never heard of it is the TLS good better best principle and what it is, is in any situation, you can go, okay, look around, <laughs> take stock, go, okay, what is going on here? Can I do, what is the good, better, best scenario here? So let me give you some examples. You're in a busy season of life and you're used to working out an hour a day uh, for five or six days a week, but that's just not happening right now because you are literally working nonstop. Things are crazy. Um, it's a season, it's, it's high season in your job or your career or your business. Well, many people would be like, screw it. I just can't work out at all. Nope. <laughs> it's just not working out for these three months. Like that's the zero 
or 100%. That's the pass or fail. That's not productive. So this is where we introduce good, better, rest. So what's best? Well, yeah, best is working out six days a week, uh, a combination of weight and cardio. We know that's best, right? That's what we're striving for. That's what many of you are already doing and in the habit of doing um, or working towards getting there. Better is no less than three times a week. Good is just get in 15 minutes. It doesn't matter, just 15 minutes of anything, 15 minutes of crunches, 15 minutes of push-ups and planks and, and squats and like any combination doesn't even really need to be structured, just get it in, right? I often do this when I'm at a hotel is, you know, especially during COVID when we did any kind of traveling um, for business that we had to do, it was like, lay out a towel on the floor. I'm doing the good option. The good option is 10 to 20 minutes of push-ups, sit-ups, squats, lunges, you know, until I have the heart rate, till I work up a sweat. I'm just getting up a little early before we hit the road. That's the good. And that's better than nothing. So good, better, best. When you can't do the best option. What's the good option? What's the better option, right? And so know that there's a scale, but at least you're still staying on track. So fruit, let's talk about fruit or veggies. What's the best option, you guys, when it comes to fruit and vegetables? Fresh, raw, right? From the garden patch. And even for many of us, that's different, right? I grew up in Canada. Uh, do you know how long it took for fresh produce to get up to us from Mexico or Florida or anywhere that was growing it in the United States? <laughs> so fresh for me growing up wasn't nearly as fresh as some of you guys have. And so sometimes better option, right? So best option, raw or from the garden patch, better option sometimes when you're in a pinch when you run out of groceries, what do you have in the freezer? You got some frozen fruit or you got some frozen vegetables, right? So that's better. What's good? If you absolutely have to, right? Canned, ooh, you know, I mean, that's really something that's hard for me to do because I, I just can't, I can't even, it's, whole, it's so hard. But if I had to, oh my gosh, eating out is also, you know, I mean, when you're on the road, I pack a cooler. That's the better option, right? So best is raw and fresh from the garden patch, but better when I'm on the road is I pre I pre plan and I pack a big cooler full of cut up vegetables and Tupperware, boiled eggs, um, stuff for shakes and uh, the TLS shakes and all that kind of fun stuff. It all goes in the cooler. Uh, my husband's always like, "So glad we pack light." <laughs> So I'm like, you, you do not want to see this girl on gas station food. Not a happy, not a happy camper. So I'm doing the better option there. But the good option is choosing wisely when you're eating out. And we have uh, resources in our TLS health guide uh, and journal, as well as uh, I believe a video I have on our uh, that I did on YouTube about choosing wisely in restaurants. So when you're on the road, when you don't have an option and you are stuck with, you know, that kind of thing. The other thing is instead of going to a restaurant, find a local grocery store, you're on the road anyway. So could you look up a grocery store like a Trader Joe's or a Whole Foods or a um, Publix or whatever grocery store is in your area or in that area. I mean, Google is beautiful for that. You put grocery stores near me and Bamski, they all pop up on that beautiful little map and all the little pins and you can find out where you want to go. Uh, it is amazing. The 21st century. <laughs> Do you remember when we had the big maps, you know, I mean, somebody be in the passenger seat holding a big map. Uh, yes. Good times. So good, better, best in any circumstance where you're feeling like I can't do the best TLS option. I can't stay on the most ideal version of my TLS plan. I can't because the season of life, because 
the schedule, because the kids are in soccer, because I'm on the road, whatever this scenario is where you feel like, oh, this is not happening. I'm going to be so off track. My results, I mean, they're just, it's, everything's going to be screwed up. Oh my gosh. Right. And as you feel that uncomfortableness of not being on track, I want you to remember, think about good, better, best. So if I know I can't achieve the best version of my TLS plan in this moment, in this week, in this month, in this day, whatever the scenario is, what's the good option? What's the better option in that specific scenario? Instead of throwing it all out the window and saying, I'll start again next week. I'll start again tomorrow. I'll start again next month. Screw it. I'm just going to go crazy with the pizza and ice cream, right? (laughs) We do not want that to happen. (laughs) Okay. And neither do you, because you know how that feels afterwards. Frankly, it sucks. And so again, if it's predictable, it's preventable. (laughs) So if we can't achieve best, what's the better option? And if we can't achieve the better option, what's the good option? Good, better, best. You can't fail at a lifestyle. You guys are doing amazing. Keep it up. Can't wait to see the comments below. See how you guys are doing. Check in uh, what progress you're making. Definitely be sure to celebrate your successes. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in.